Hi everyone! Uh, how is everybody doing? Happy New Year! Ngayon, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung sagot ko sa isang comment ng ating subscriber uh, tungkol sa uh, fixing terms. So, di ba if you have um, loan or mortgage loan, pag nag-apply kayo, meron doon fixing terms na pwedeng one year, two year, three years. No, pwedeng one year, three years, and five years. Yun yung fixing terms na sinasabi na yun. Uh, yun yung fix yung rate mo by the time na nag-apply ka ng mortgage. So, let's say, nung nag-apply ka ng mortgage was 7.8. So, and you signed up for, let's say, 5 years. So, pag natapos yung 5 years, ang tanong ng ating uh, subscriber, kung magpapasa ba daw ng panibagong documents uh, after na mas ma matapos yung fixing terms. Actually, hindi. Hindi ganun. So, kapag natapos yung fixing terms mo, dun palang magbabago yung monthly amortization mo. Pwede siyang bumaba, pwede siyang tumaas. Depende sa, sa interest rate ng bank by the time na natapos siya. So, let's say, natapos this year, 2024. Katulad sa akin, nagkakatapos lang ng 5 year fixing term ko I used to pay one of my 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 mortgages I used to pay 20 uh 6532 uh, pero now tumaas siya kasi yung dati kong fixing terms is 6.88 tapos parang ngayon nung pinadalhan nila ako uh the the new rate was 9.8 pero Uh, pag nakatanggap kayo ng ganun, I think, I suggest na don't just um, accept that. Try to see din, mag-email kayo kung anong mga bank po yan and ask if they can um, consider to reduce your interest rate. So, tignan nila kung pwede bang i-adjust. Kung hindi man yung i-retain yung previous rate nyo, uh, kailang, uh, baka pwede nilang babaan. Tapos, magbigay kayo ng Um, ng, ng good reason nyo why you're asking for a lower interest rate or why you're asking them to review again. So, it's always better to ask rather than not to ask kasi you got nothing to lose. So, ako, every time na marereceive ko yung new interest rate ko kasi after ng fixing terms mo, ano na yan, um, yearly na yan yung repricing mo. So, there are times one of my mortgage loan was fixed only for three years so that was two years ago so the first year na nagkaroon ako ng change of rate is actually mas mababa siya tapos nung second year na siya which is last year uh, mas mataas siya so nag nagpa-fluctuate but every time I receive a new rate uh, I always ask them to review if there's any chance na pwede pang babaan. So, yeah. So, ang sagot ko doon sa, sa, sa iyo, uh, my dear, is hindi mo na kailangan magpasa ulit ng application form or mag-process or magbayad ng panibagong fee. No, you don't have to. All you have to do is pag nakapag-send na sa'yo sa, sa iyo ng, uh, ng new interest rate, uh, of course, especially now, I would expect that um, yung interest rate mo would have gone up it nag-increase na so uh, compared to what you had before so what I would suggest is send them an email and ask them could you please review my interest rate is there any way that you could please retain my previous interest rate because my salary has not been like parang kumbaga bigyan mo sila ng good reason why they will consider to lower your interest rate so dapat ano siya um, ano siya dapat Um, very considerable at saka reasonable. So, yung ganun yung ginagawa ko na um, ang ginagawa ko normally kapag na-receive ko na and then they, at least they give you a chance to review and then, you know what I mean? Like, you got nothing to lose. So, I will really highly suggest na ask them to review again. And so far for me, on my experience, it's all successful. Uh, like, like now, I received 9.8 but they give me at least 8.75. It's not a very significant decrease, but, you know, every penny counts. So, 
I will definitely take that chance. And also, the key for that for you to get approved is that keep your payment um, up to date. Long ibig ko sabihin, uh, dapat lagi kang laging kang walang backlog sa payment mo. Tsaka good payer ka kasi doon nila i-review yung score mo kung good payer ka ba. Um, that's another factor na pwede ka nilang bigyan ng, ng reduced uh, interest rate. So, it's important na you should try. You got nothing to lose. So, contact them straight away as soon as you receive your uh, new interest rate, yearly repricing rate. So, yeah. Wala nang ibang babayaran na fee. I don't know with other banks but based on my own experience with BDO, I have no other um, issue. Just basically just send them an email. It normally when you apply for a rate reduction for with BDO, um, I'm not recommending BDO. I'm not a paid promotion. But like I'm just saying, it's because based on my experience, it will take sometimes the turnaround time, 7 to 10 days when they get back to you with the result, whether it's naaprubahan ka or hindi. So, sa mga BDO dyan, that's, that, I'm sure nakaka-receive din kayo ng information normally nag sinesend out nila yan sometimes late in my experience they are like one month late they should be at least uh, informing at least a month before di ba bago mag change yung rate mo but normally it's one month before but you know that's okay as long as can be done and yeah so far with my request i'm always granted not exactly not, they will not always retain what rate you have, but they try their best to parang reduce yung current rate mo sa uh, yung, yung new rate mo lower than uh, binababaan nila. So, it is worth to give it a try. So, if you're with other bank, I will suggest to do the same. So, guys, just give it a, give it a chance. Don't just let it be. I mean, kung ano yung madi-discount mo, it will see. I'm sure it will also help a lot, especially on your side. Um, especially yung rate mo, hindi lang yun yung binabayaran mo. You still have to renew then yung fire insurance mo, yung MRI mo. There's two things. So remember that. The, but Pero yung... Fire insurance tsaka MRI, yung mortgage redemption insurance, non-negotiable yun eh. Yung sinasabi ko lang yun is yung interest rate mo para sa mortgage mo. So, expect that your interest rate this year, 2024, is definitely have gone up compared to what you are paying before. Uh, para sa mga, baka bigla kang magulat kasi di, siguro 5 years ago nung nag-sign ka ng loan was 6.5 but now the repricing rate is 9.8 so when you receive that straight away send them an email please please pwede mong gamitin na oh, my salary is not parang hindi pa nag increase or uh, like bago lang ako sa job ko or something like that as long as you have a, you're a good payer sa, sa record nila that would probably give them a confidence as well that you'll be paying basically on time so keep your payments uh, up to date all the time so yeah so that's it i hope nakatulong and check out my next video is share ko sa inyo kung ano yung worst bank na dapat i-avoid nyo especially if you are releasing equity so it means kapag mag-apply mag kayo ng loan at gagamitin nyo yung yung title ng bahay nyo as a collateral. I will tell you kung sino yung worst bank that will give you a very, very low value sa property nyo. So, stay tuned. Bye for now.